So spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though Wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend So spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold And the gold you see What do you got? So take a chance, take a chance on me It's magical when you are close So get closer, babe What do you got? Cause I am gold Hey guys, welcome back to a new video So today we're gonna be doing a cook and clean with me um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I thought why not let's just go ahead and do it so tonight's dinner is a new recipe we're gonna be making a million dollar chicken casserole sounds really delicious sounds family friendly everyone in our house will probably like it so that is why I chose that but before we go ahead and get into today's video today's video is in a collaboration with Megan from Megan's story um, I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself and then we'll get into the video. Hi, I'm Megan and my channel is Megan's Story and here on my channel you'll find everything food and kitchen such as our massive grocery hauls, lots of cooking and cleaning in the kitchen as well. Yo, I hope that you can come over to our channel and check out what we have going on over here and subscribe today. And thank you so much Brandy. I'm so glad we did this collab together. It was a lot of fun. Let your light shine. <laughs> So be sure to go over and check out Megan's channel if you have not. She seems like a bubbly, fun person. She really seems like somebody that you'd go out and have a good time with. And um, yeah, be sure to let her know that I sent you over there. And if you're coming from Megan's channel, hello, welcome. My name is Brandy. I would love to have you stick around. If you like what you see here on my channel, I do a lot of cleaning, um, cooking, and I also have a vlog channel if you want to go check that out as well. But I do like other random things over there like grocery hauls, cooking, vlogs, hauls, things like that. I like to keep it real here. I never want to come across as someone that has it all together because I never do. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And like I said, be sure to go check out Megan and subscribe to her channel. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you guys what we're going to need to make this casserole, but I also made homemade blueberry pie today because it was my dad's birthday. can link it down on this video if you guys want to know how to make it because it was super easy and really delicious. So this recipe takes very minimal ingredients, which is great. Um, a lot of the stuff you might already have on hand, but I'm just going to go over with you. Um, first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350. Um... You're going to need four and a half cups of chopped cooked chicken. So a rotisserie chicken would be great for this because in that way you wouldn't have to cook it on the stove like I'm going to have to because all I have is fresh chicken breasts right now. Um, you need four ounces of cream cheese and it has to be at room temperature. Well, I was a little lazy so I didn't get to lay mine out. So what you can do is put it in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds to get it room temperature that way. So we'll have to do that. I got one cup of cottage cheese, half a cup of sour cream, one 10.5 ounce cream of chicken soup. Um, you're also going to need some garlic powder and onion powder. You're going to need about a fourth of a teaspoon each of that um, or however much you want to put in. Sometimes I get a little <laughs> heavy with my seasonings because I like a lot of seasoning, but one sleeve of your Ritz crackers. We have townhouse crackers. Whatever kind of crackers that you like will be just fine. And then you're going to need five tablespoons of butter and you're going to want to melt this completely for the top. So I'm just going to do a voiceover on the next portion of this video, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Um, I'm just using a little bit of olive oil to cook my diced up chicken here. 
and I also went ahead and seasoned my chicken with the garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper and then you do still want to include um, what the recipe called for the garlic and onion powder um, in the actual bowl here where we're just gonna basically dump all the ingredients in here and mix it up it's that easy guys so this is kind of like a dump and go casserole um, this was a hit um, my family really loved this meal it doesn't look very appetizing when it's done it kind of just looks like a big old bowl of slop but I want to promise you guys that the flavors of this was out of this world like it was very tasty um, had a lot of flavor and it was very good and I would definitely make it again because it was super easy and like I said everybody in my family really enjoyed it and those are kind of those meals where I feel like I win when I can get everybody to eat the same meal So you just want to grease your dip, casserole dish just a little bit and then go ahead and pour in the mixture. I did not use enough chicken. Uh, make sure you use, if your family is bigger than mine, mine is kind of small so um, this worked perfect for us but if you have a large family you might want to double the recipe. Um, then I just took my crushed up Ritz crackers or townhouse crackers is what I had and put them over top of it and then we're gonna melt our butter and drizzle that on top. It is literally that simple and then we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes in the oven and I'm gonna promise you guys, give this thing a try if you want something easy to make and I also feel like this would be a cheap meal idea. There isn't a whole lot of ingredients that it calls for and most of it you probably already have one. So while the dinner was cooking, um, I wanted to go ahead and clean up the counters and the dishes. I normally do this whenever I'm making dinner because it helps to um, just kind of keep on track of everything and then I'm not um, so overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff to do once dinner is done. So I like to just pick up and go while the food is cooking. If it is something that I'm baking or, you know, whatever um, it's a little bit easier that way but my stove was super dirty I had stuff on the counters um, I wanted to get that cleaned out and then here towards the end of this uh, video I'm gonna pull out my stove I haven't done that for a really long time but it was so gross like the side of it had stuff caked on it where food had gotten down in between there um, I don't really have any like guards between my stove and my counters to keep food from like going down in the cracks so it was really dirty and I was really glad to be able to pull it out luckily my stove pulls out really easily like my refrigerator um, I cleaned it behind it a while back if you guys want to go back out and check that video but it was really gross as well had a lot of dirt if that's what you guys want to see you guys are going to see a little bit of dirt um, toward the end of the video but I know Sometimes I'm not always good about getting those up close shots for you guys. I'm definitely trying to get better at that so you guys can actually see how dirty things are because not everything in my house is clean even if it looks like it is. It's just these camera angles don't really show how much dirt there is. So I just took a little bit of Dawn dish soap and we're going to scrub out the sink really well. I felt like my sink, it gets dirty all the time with um, when we're rinsing dishes and stuff and food falls down in the sink. That really grosses me out so I do try to keep on top of keeping it clean but that is how I like to do it and then just use my little scrub brush that I got from the Dollar Tree works really good um, we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters with this microvan cleaner that I like okay um, the scent isn't my favorite but they do have another scent but I think that this product cleans pretty good um, and then it's a, also it's a disinfecting so that is like double plus of something that I like in a cleaner 
So um, there is a citrus scent that I would actually like to try versus this one. Um, like I said, I'm not crazy about the smell of this one, but I do like how it cleans. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes, they glowed and filled me have not tried the Sprayway glass cleaner, I highly recommend it. You can find it at the dollar store, but it does so good on glass. And then I like to use it for my um, stove top since it's a glass stove top. It does shine it up really good. And then in dust is my go-to for my stainless steel. Um, I could probably also use my Wayman's um, cabinet uh, wood cleaner as well for this. I haven't really looked on there to see, but I'm pretty sure I could probably use it for stainless steel as well. But the Indust has been my go-to for years on stainless steel um, in my house. And I've, I love shining up my stuff. And I was a little bit behind on getting my stuff shined up this week. So I went ahead and wanted to clean uh, all the stainless steel down in the kitchen. Um, and get that wiped up because it's been a little while since I've shined everything. And there was fingerprints. Uh, there was food on there. It just gets really gross really fast. And I was slacking a little bit. But... That everything looked so good and shiny when I was done, so definitely try Indust on your appliances if you have not. Turn everything around. I will always remember it. How you got me off the keep up with my back patio door um, French door whatever you want to call it uh, at least like to clean those windows once a week uh, my little boy gets his fingerprints all over it and then my dog ends up getting his slobbers on it the cat ends up getting his paw prints on there from scratching to want to come inside um, and there's always mud on it somehow this door gets so dirty we travel a lot in and out out of this door and I just feel like it's a high traffic area and it just I like to keep up with it once a week and it probably could use clean twice a week but I just do once a week and it does me pretty good makes me feel really good when I get it cleaned because it's always really dirty and I love having clean doors when I walk into the kitchen like it's like the first thing that you kind of notice because this door is so big and I love keeping the glass clean so it makes the rest of the room feel clean to me um, we had a couple dishes in the living room that I wanted to get picked up and put away and then I always keep on top of this coffee table because I have a pretty large dog as you guys saw and his hair gets all over this coffee table um, anytime he shakes or like gets really close to the couch there's always hair on it and it grosses me out because I like to just keep that clean but this is how the casserole turned out when it was done. Guys, this was so good. I highly recommend. Like I said, I'll have the recipe linked down below. But definitely give it a try if you want an easy family meal. It was definitely really good and I would make it again. Um, 
And then obviously if you want to change anything, you can. I feel like this recipe would be customizable to your liking if you want to add anything different. Um, I read the comments to the link and a lot of people um, kept it the same, but there was a few people that tried a couple different things. So you can definitely customize it to your liking. But now we're just going to clean up um, some droppings that was on the counter. We're going to move out the stove here and I'm going to show you guys what the aftermath of what was behind my stove. I also lost one of my uh, Valentine's Day pieces that I forgot about, but it must have fell off the stove and it fell behind there, but I found it. And then the, the sides of my stove were disgusting. There was food caked on there and I definitely just wanted to get that cleaned up. And I'm gonna use the Microban uh, multi-surface cleaner for this. And then all these crumbs on the floor, there was dust bunnies back there. Um, I'm gonna use the vacuum to get that stuff up and then just use the microban to wipe down the sides of my cabinets in the back and also for the floor. Even if I told you I could never let you go I'm not so sure you believe me But if I mean to show you I will never let you go No Cause you don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby you are um, I highly recommend keeping a little scraper in your house for um, things like this I don't even know what this was if I'm being honest with you guys I think it was kind of like noodles that got stuck on there um, But I don't understand how noodles would have got down between there It could have been grease I'm not really sure what this was that I was scraping off But um, it was really gross but once I got that off of there and everything wiped off pretty easily and then I'm just going to kind of sweep it up with my little paper towel here and throw that away and then we're just going to vacuum behind it. Like I said, I don't move my stove out very often, like once a year. It was like a spring clean type of thing that I do. But I'm just trying to show you guys some up close of the crumbs on the floor here. But now the very last thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to vacuum the floor. I like to do this once a day just because I have animals and I don't like hair. I'm very OCD about the hair thing and I can stand crumbs more than I can hair. It just grosses me out so that is why I like to vacuum at least once a day in my just the hardwood floor now sometimes I don't always get to the carpeted rooms um, I only do those like once a week but the hardwood floor where we track through that's high traffic and you can see everything I like to keep this vacuumed once a day I know you never would admit, but I can see through you.
So I hope you guys got some cooking and cleaning motivation out of today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want to see some more um, after dark clean with me's cooking um, recipes. Let me know. I can also do some short videos if some of you guys would rather see that. I did post another cooking short video over on my vlog channel so be sure to go over there and check out my vlog channel. Um, be sure to check out Megan's channel like I said and go subscribe to her. And um, if you guys like what you see, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I, 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 I wish you could be happy, happy, yeah, yeah. But I can't lie, lie, lie. LA made you crazy, crazy, yeah, yeah. You don't care what's real no more, no. You don't want me anymore. You only want Belong